What are your musical inspirations? Backstreet Boys, Britney Instinct. Spears, Instinct. For the Wiggles, well, something? I, I actually saw the Backstreet Boys in concert a while ago. Did you really saw that? Yeah, like oh. uh, at Tropicana Field, actually. Dude. Dude. I've, got, I've got one of those, uh, those that. back to that question that was, uh, what could come out later in the band for a big secret? I uh, actually, when I was a little older than I am now, when Burger King had all those Backstreet Boys action figures in the movies and stuff, I had every single one. I had and when I was like couple. seven, I had all the Spice Girls posters, all of the action figures, oh, yeah. all the Spice movies. Girl. I'm a big Spice Girls fan. So you were really excited when Spice Girls got back together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's still oh, going to yeah. come down the closet, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what about your non-musical inspirations? Thumb wrestling, sleeping with your mouth open. Anything? His, I think we could all say video games. Video games. Video, or Ethan's flash lens is just horrible. That's not inspiration. No, he said what's not inspiration. No, he said non musical. Non musical. Oh, non musical. Well, that's pretty much musical, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not inspiration. I'd say that. I would say video games though. Yeah, yeah video, video games probably the summary for like. All Wait, what kind? The console or like online World of Warcraft? Oh, uh, all so they, th these three all play. What, Halo? At, yeah, me? Xbox 3. We all got Xbox 360s. So I have a PlayStation 3. Alright, so what inspires your lyrics? Because they are in English, right? We were listening to one of your songs in the back and we couldn't understand a single word. <laughs> that would all be Ian's doing. <laughs> That's all Ian's doing? Uh, there's, I, t I, tend to, I tend to write songs about, fall, like, uh, we have one song called uh, Killer Bees When Dare Come to Florida, and it's about when you realize you're going down the wrong path and you do whatever it takes to get back on the right path. It's more like self-help and self-reliance and more uh, self-inspirational music or lyrics for us, or at least for me. And uh, I try to like incorporate things that I think are beautiful in the world, like you know, like scenery and nature and uh, like the ocean and stuff like that. I'm kind of big on like nature and that kind of stuff, and global hippies. warming. And yeah, I really like his writing style. It's not like like what he just said. It's not like I like nature. Nature's good. I like nature. Nature's good. It's not that he's very metaphorical about his writing. Yeah, I, really I try like. to be I very. Really cool. I try to write stuff that would make the listener be like, "What does that mean?" Like, yes. it's not. It's not. It's not like it doesn't smack in the face. You kind of have to think about it, and I think that's what music. And that that can lead to like people. That can add a sort of mystery to it, and people can come up with their own conclusions about what a song is about. It's, it's pretty much like a bad movie that's really good. <laughs> That, like, that made no sense. Well, like, you know, it's a good movie, but you don't know what happens. There's there's a lot of holes in it. So it's kind of... It gives you room to fill in. Yeah. Spaces. Which makes Pre it more fun. More personal. For the listener. For the listener, yeah. And sometimes I try to, like, write songs in a series. That, what like, they're trying to say is that lyrics make no sense. Unless you ask <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you make up your own conclusion, but you yeah. pretty much have to ask anything. Yeah. I, I actually make my little brother write the lyrics. <laughs> that way they make no sense and no one can sing. So, all right, so how far are you going to take this music thing? Win a Grammy, become the spokesman for like a cat food company? Anyone going to date Paris Hilton or? No. <laughs> you will? He already has. <laughs> That's why he's going to rehab. Or break. He's going to rehab for Paris Hilton. But I, I would like to be the first band to do something. Like to do play, something. yeah, like play on like a dock in the middle of the ocean or something. Or on the moon. Or on the moon, yes. Play in the water, like, play in space. Yeah. yeah. Like, have like a bubble in the ocean. Just be like, <laughs> like, like bubbles. We don't really have a goal set, like, where we have to, you know, win awards. We kind of do it for fun. And whatever happens, happens with us. Yeah. So, we just kind of like go with the flow and see what happens. Right now, it's, it's fun. just for fun and our own self pleasure. Hopefully, people like what we do. So, and hopefully, they follow us now. They do things that are bigger and better. Okay, so you guys are in a band. Big deal. What else can you guys do? Play soccer. <laughs> soccer? Yeah, I play soccer. I'm in, I'm in the marching band at my school. I'm a good gymnast. I'm a band nerd. I'm, I'm a, a good gymnast. I'm the editor for my school cool. yearbook. I, I boss everyone around me. But I enjoy photography, long walks on the beach, <laughs> sunsets. I, think I'm I like girls. <laughs> but yeah, they're all, they're all ladies, man. He, he's the he's only one that's like drinks on stage and goes to the crowd after and just like, hey, ladies. <laughs> that's me. 
when I touch my face. He has to be the latest man. He just broke up with Paris Hilton. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, screw that up. <laughs> okay, again, let's say you guys win the Battle of the Bands. What's going to happen to all the other bands? Alright, how about this? Tell us a story about the lives of the other bands after you crush them at the concert. Well, we're going to set up our pet dinosaur, all of, them, <laughs> all of them. And as they're running in fear, they'll eventually hit the ocean where we'll have our pet sea monster waiting. <laughs> we should do it like this. You say a sentence, you say a sentence, and it just keeps on going around. You say a sentence. Sorry, like, I don't even remember. Okay, well, all right, you said the sea monster kills him. I say they find some way to go through the blowhole. The what? The blowhole. <laughs> the blowhole. Every sea monster has a blowhole. Okay, I thought you said something else. They're talking about. No. And then that, that would just make them more. Just stop there, just stop there. <laughs> I don't like this story. We're done. <laughs> See a monster, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't say anyway. Alright, we're going to give you guys a few minutes to talk to the other bands. Say anything you want to the other bands, but don't worry, they're not big yet, they don't have lawyers, they can't sue you. People are too mean to the bands that are uh, just coming up. And we, from personal experience, you know, if you're a small band, you don't get very much um, respect from other bands that have been around for you know, a little bit longer than you, even if it's been like a few months. And uh, hopefully we're that band that is a little bit uh, more experienced, and hopefully we would like to be nicer to like the smaller bands, because yeah. we haven't really had that for us. A lot of bands are kind of mean. <laughs> a lot, of, a lot of bands do have that ego, yeah, which plays a role. And then we're nice, so talk to us. Yeah, at the show. Yeah, and anyway, come talk to us. Like, yeah, talk about whatever religion make you feel comfortable. He's a friendly band. Don't yeah. worry about friendly band. Yeah. Throw stuffed animals out in the crowd. Don't let our sounds scare you away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, last question. The gods of rock look down from their lofty abode and anoint you with the greatest band ever for all eternity. What will be the first thing you're going to do as the ambassadors of rock to the entire known universe? Cancun, baby. I, I want to get... <laughs> what did you say? Cancun. Cancun. I want to get, like... Everything like outfits, amps, guitars. I want to get all sponsored like NASCAR and just have like McDonald's, and, like all the like the fast food places. Have like Walmart sponsored my like my chaps. <laughs> just have like Walmart right on my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and just because that'd be cool. Be, that'd be the Walmart. Stop. Walmart. Just be like a <laughs> band of stickers, sponsorships. <laughs> Be like, hey, come to Walmart, and they turned around and bent over. <laughs> I didn't know Walmart made that sound. <laughs> it does smell like that, though. I'll tell you that. Walmart's not watching this. Walmart, I think, I'm pretty sure they do have lawyers and stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to get them. Oh, jeez. But, that, I don't, what would you do if we were anointed the gods of rock? Um... I don't know really. I just. Do we have like superpowers? Yeah, I do have superpowers. If you want them. <laughs> I would if that's what I you would, want to do, if the first thing you want to do is have superpowers. I would go and raise like all the dead rock stars, like like Elvis. Kurt and Elvis, and just make like an orchestra, <laughs> have like a pit orchestra, and they all play their instrument. And they all play like flute. Yeah. And like clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> like Kurt Cobain. <laughs> 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 Alright, thank you guys.